Hello, my name is Dave, CTO DVS. Welcome to this week's how to video, where today we're going to be looking at the Height Vision 2 wire video intercom kit. This is a new kit, uh, comes in a box um, with all the kit needed. So you've got the indoor station, the outdoor station, the power supply. It allows you to upgrade existing uh, analog intercom kits and get them onto IP with the full Height Connect uh, app support still. So just to give you a look, we'll open the box. So the actual kit name itself, I don't know if you can see it there, it's DS-KIS701. So we open the, the box, we've got the fitting instructions, a manual. We've got the indoor station. We have the power supply unit. So this is where we take our power to our devices from. Yeah, nice little unit. We have our mounting plate for the indoor station. And then finally, we have Our outdoor station with back box. And a power supply to power it all. So what I shall do next is wire this up briefly. And then you can see what we're working with and how it works. So I'll see you in a minute. Thank you. So welcome back to the second part of this how-to video where we run through how to get the equipment running. It's a one-touch uh, wizard, so what we'll do is quickly show you on the... There's a base plate for the indoor station, which hides all the connections. You can see the two wire connections that are still on there. Uh, it's non-polarized, so it doesn't matter which way around they go technically. But we also have these plug-in headers that are available to come with it. The plug in there to give you alarm inputs. Let's put this paint back on and we'll switch it over and that's the front of it. So you've got the power distributor that's already connected to my network. I've got the power lead which we're gonna connect in a minute. And you've got your connection block along the top. Each connection block wires to each device. Again, non-polarized, so it doesn't really matter which way around they go or which ones they go into. And then you've got your outdoor station there. It's got a tamper switch on there. There, um, which the case would hold in. It's also got the connections along the bottom, so you've got your lock relay, you've got your ground, you've got your RS-45, which is for the uh, secure door module, you've got your inputs for door contact and brake uh, request to exit, sorry. You've got your output for the lock, 12 volt output for the lock, and you've got your non-polarized, if you look in there, this is the last two terminals, non-polarized connection for the power supply. Um, we've got standard four core alarm cable, there's about 25 meters between the power supply and the door, and there's about 40 meters uh, to the indoor station. Um, the manual is actually really helpful. If we open it up here. So there's lots of connection details in there. It also tells you the distances. So depending on the cable AWG, we can support up to 150 meters um, without a lock supply or up to 100 meters if we do power the lock from the uh, distributor. Um, so quite far distances, so that shouldn't be a problem. And I'm just using standard four core alarm cable, but technically you can use a bell cable. Uh, the manual is, say, got a lot of stuff in there. What we'll do is flip you over. So we power the unit up. Powering it all now, so that should come online very shortly. So we're just waiting for this to power up. So new password. So we'll just set a basic password just to get us online. Okay, that next is English, but you can choose the language you want. 
indoor station or, or an indoor extension because again we support extension mode we are only going to use the indoor station because it's a kit so it's one to one now we're searching for the outdoor station so we select the one that we've got which is that's the seal number there's only one on there we click next configuration done yay and click start so that effectively is how quickly it takes to get this working now if i press the call button you can see hello so i can answer the call i can say hi dave of course there is feedback there um again if i want to click live view i can uh, enable the speech there or watch it uh, draw area So now I can zoom in that way, or I can just go clear area and make it go widescreen again, reset, there we go. And again, because it's an IP station, it's basically two wire, IP over two wire, we can actually add in cameras like the actual IP uh, door stations. It's got very much the same functionality. If you put an SD card in the slot there, it'll take the snap, you know, the pictures as you press the doorbell again. It's saying connected there, that means it's connected to this outdoor station. Hibernate makes the screen go off. And then you've got the functionalities down there, like the touch screen ones, the message, so information. And these would be the pictures and messages that are sent from the 4200. You can dial other apartments. Settings, and we're gonna go, and you can change the sound, the ringtones. Fine. The ring duration, microphone volumes, etc. You do not disturb times. So if you work shifts and you don't want to be disturbed by this, you can set that in there. You've got your system, you can format your SD card, screen cleaning, firmware versions, etc. Config. And you've got like your indoor station, your live view duration live du view duration is how long this will stay alive when the call if it's set to 30 seconds the call is initiated it'll stay alive for 30 seconds before it uh, disconnects your network settings your devices different devices sync time sadp and restore options there if you want to use this just as this kit as it is that's all we have to do if you want to use it with high connect then obviously we have to connect to the network like we already have this is not going to work in DHCP mode for me because of my network settings. So I have to actually address this manually. So I'll do that from SADP, uh, which we'll go and see now. Um, so I'll take you over and we'll do that. You can see uh, using SADP, we can actually see our devices down the bottom anyway, because they're on the network connected. And I'm going to change now quickly the IP addresses to match my schedule. And then we'll get it onto Hike Connect. So bear with me and we'll be right back. So we've got my phone ready, we've got the indoor station, we've got the power supply unit there, going all the way across to the outdoor station there. So if we now press the button on the outdoor station, that is ringing both the indoor station and the app. So we'll answer this. Or we'll actually go into Height Connect and do that. Hello. 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 And we can open the door and then we can hang up. So you can see there, it works quite nicely um, with Hike Connect. Currently, there's no QR code, so what you need to do is go on to www.hike connect.com, log into the Hike Connect app, and then in here, you'll see the code. So you use the serial number and the code and then that will add it to your height connect account um we'll work on the firmware to get the qr code so it adds really nicely but currently once you link it to the router just go on to www.hike-connect.com log into the height connect account serial number then the verification code boom bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt also when you're connecting this point and note which i just found out um some switches that are poe 
don't manage the it, this unit doesn't like the PoE. So either turn the PoE off on the switch if you can, or connect it to a non-PoE port. It has caused conflict on two different brands I've tried, um, where it tries to knock the power supply out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Keep sharing, keep liking. This kit's now available <laughs> available through DVS. Uh, if you need any information, again, watch this video or ask our sales staff. Drop me a message, whatever you need. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Bye.